Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our career playthrough. Any of you follow with me, your host, Lucky Brain, and we are going to see soon. <coughs> oh dear. I should probably start that again, but no. No, no. I sneeze. You're going to have to deal with it. Sometimes I sneeze, and I don't even meet the microphone, because I don't know how to. And my bad reserves need to recover. Yeah, they do, they do. And conquer a chew. A chuka. A chuka. It would give us a claim. But our manpower reserves do need to recover. And it would give us a national rest of half a thing. Half a percent? Half a half a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Let's uh National Man yeah, National Tax Modifier would be nice. We've already got people fabricating upon Korchin, I believe. Yanzhou, nope, Yanzhou and Yeren. We don't have anyone. So let's take that. Let's take that. Aria, why are you in their land? Who allows who through here? Aria is a war with Cochin of Lord Ming. Oh, okay. So you can march through all the lands, all the tributary lands. Fair enough. Gives you access to the uh, the capital. Interesting. So. You control less provinces than you wish. Let's give you some land. Nobility, what land do you want? Talk to me. Um, I don't know. We'll give you this. There we go. Done. Everybody's happy. Everybody is happy. Let's get, let's get claims. Fabricate upon um, Bahori. And Kuro. Bring you back. And now I'm sure that we have enough for both your provinces. We only need one, I'm sure. I think we have... Yeah, we already, we already have a claim on Ferdan. I remember that. I do remember it. And you come home. And we'll use two. Use you two. To fabricate on... One of them can fabricate on Colchin. And the other can improve relations with Mongolia. For the reasons outlined in the end of the last episode. Essentially, I don't know if... If Ori becomes a tributary, I don't know if they're going to allow them to keep Mongolia as a vassal. Okay. So, if that's not a thing, we want enough of good relations with Mongolia to be able to swoop in there and say, hey, do you want a, an alliance? Because, all right, because Koch and Yeren have just allied themselves to each other. And that's not a good thing. Bribes, uh, okay. Bribes growing more accepted. It's just a saying. How much do I have? Exactly 50. Well, let's, let's root out exactly 50. And then that'll be done in a year. And we can move on with less corruption. We can build more province improvements, which means marketplace. We need one in Gilim. Gilim? Gilim? I don't know. One here. But already working to make it a call. Fair enough. Oh, and this, this thing. This thing is quite useful actually, uh, especially for manufacturers. I can pop this open and from a, what was it, trade station? We could make two ducats in this province or from a textile manufactory. We couldn't make anything. <laughs> Weapons manufactory, nothing. But we, we could build it. Naval equipment, we could make 2.5 ducats in this province but only 0 0.09 in this. So it's a good way, once you get big and sprawling, to find provinces where things are gonna make sense to build stuff. Especially when it comes to trade as well. So now they want admin power. Of course they want admin power. It's like the default thing that you go to. You can spend admin power on lots of good stuff. Discovering agents, 
can we get? Nope. No one rest guy. Which is unfortunate. Our ships are done. Splendid. Out you go. And off you go. Protect in Nippon Node, which is our well it's our end node really. How about Girin? Girin? Girin. I think I'm gonna call it Girin. How much are you losing? You're not losing anything to anywhere other than where it needs to come. Fair enough. So you're not needed in Girin. We collect here. Now this blue arrow means that you can push power like back up against the grain. But there's no point in putting it in Beijing because it'd just push it back into the hands out node. If we had an option to put it in the hands out node, then that might be an idea. But then we, we lose 0.73 ducats to the hands out node. Is it really worth it? No. At some point, it might be worth. At some point, it's going to be worth moving into the Beijing node. Now we now have land in the Beijing node, a tiny sliver of land in the Beijing node. It may be an idea to collect in the Beijing node and use our merchants to push things into it. I mean, <clears throat> taking 10% or 13 ducats is going to be, is it going to be better? I don't know. We'll have to evaluate this. We may, it may be our impetus to take out Japan or to take out what we can of Japan and make, a, make the nip on node solidify our, our hold on the nip on node even. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's carry on. Don't want to hear me waffling about random things. Yanza, when's our truce over? Our truce with Yeren runs out first. Which means Cochin is like probably desperately clicking on the the declare war button. But with Yeren, it there's probably a cross beside his name saying accepting will destabilize Yeren. <laughs> until Healer Prestige, until when? Twenty years. Go on then. But yeah, um he's probably getting the uh Yaren wouldn't accept and he probably doesn't want to fight us on his own. But We'll see. In three more years we'll find out. I would like some more men by the time that happens. Now Mongolia now is finally into the green. Heretic religion, aggressive expansion, minus 47. Mongolia is a vassal in the alright. But if you got rid of that, you're on a knife edge of 33. One more tech. You would now accept an alliance if you were not a vassal. And that's what we've do we've made contingency contingency plans for. If Mongol Mongolia gets out of being a vassal, we want to be able to say come and be a come and be an ally of ours. It stops Cochin being able to immediately eat into Mongolia. And it helps us if Cochin wants to eat into us. We'll have Mongolia on the other side of them. To give them the good news. Are we not? Let's do that. Let's focus admin. 
minus 5, why? Never bonus of minus 5%. Are you tech 5 yet? You're not. Let's wait until Ming is tech 5 and we'll try and demonstrate the bonuses that you get from your overlord being uh, a tech ahead of you. Yeah, we might have to force the Renaissance. Depends. When I was making, we had so many points. I just forced the the, the first three techs. Six admin. All right. It's a good job we were uh, we forced admin. And here's Ming plopping out mercenaries just because why not? Why not? Kenny calls good. Now. Royal of Armies, no. We'll take this instead. Lose base stacks in Yingzhou, Yangzhou, Jinju, but we gain it in Hangzhou. So from here into into somewhere else. Yeah. Anyway, plus twenty-five local autonomy. In Jinju, where is it? Where is Jinju? Jinju, are you owned by anybody? By zero states. So this autonomy will come down all the way down to zero in time. And who is this? Haxai separatist. Haxai separatists. As I live and breathe, Haxai separatists doing us a solid. Outstanding. Then I want Diplo about. Fair enough. Do we have an advisor? We do have advisors, but... Well, at least we've got the Morale of Armies guy. Rebels have crossed the border. In... Now we have two provinces that are... Hack cycles. So they will... Take both of these. And then probably end up walking off into this province here. Nope, Mongolia. What about you? Nope. Yanzhou. So I'll probably take both of these and then walk back into Scorching Lands. I don't want to be fighting this 14 stack. And we'll, I'll come back in and mop up. But that's it. I mean, I ain't, I ain't taking it. I ain't fighting this. And they'll move over to Yehi, probably. Nine times out of ten. They could move back over here. But no. We'll allow them to take Yehi. They'll then move on to provinces that are called. Okay. Separatism, fine. Rather the se rather have the separatism. Than, uh, than lose manpower, especially at this date. We have one year before our truce is over with the Erin. So he'll probably go back. Oh no, he's off to fight. Fair enough. Oh dear, Cochin. That was not good for you. We'll take our provinces back and then we'll step off. Right, come back. I'm fine with a bit of separatism. I'm, yeah, I just I don't want to be fighting this. You saw what happened to Cochin. Separatists are usually quite strong. Are you at Tech Five yet? You Tech Five Diplo. Let's have a look. We're tech 4 Diplo, so what does it mean? Tributary state with less total devel less total diplomacy technology levels than Overlord gives us another 5% discount. That's fairly useful. So overall, no bonus and tributary state with less total diplomacy tech 
is a minus 10%, which outweighs the 9%. So yeah, we'll take him. And we'll wait for Ming to pop up to tech 5 in Miltech. The hands are declared on Yaren. Really? Oh, that's because you're finding another war. Hmm, interesting. Coaching, let's get some more claims on you. Tuan, we've already got you. Hulan? No. Jiren. Which is, I believe, in the Beijing node. It's not. But it's getting towards it, so let's go that way, shall we? Request for much access. Are you fighting both Yaren and Defender against Yanzi? We're going to decline this <clears throat> because if we let him through, Cochin's going to be allowed through. This way, Cochin has to come all the way around and fight over a river into mountains against a, a, a vastly smaller army. So for your own sake, Yanzo, I'm going to say no. If we were to declare on Yuren, I mean we can't right now, but if we were, when our truce is over, would you come in? You would. By how much? Hmm. You're in debt. You have besieged provinces. Right. At this rate, I think Haxai is going to pop out here. Is that a your? Yep. One, two, three, four. No, these three provinces will probably pop out. This is going to be good. Over a river into steps. Took the river crossing. They have the... Uh, yeah, nomads fighting on flat terrain. It's not quite as powerful as... Uh, hordes fighting on steps, but still, it's fairly good. Yeah, the separatists, better morale, only just less discipline. Tactics are better, it's just easily gonna win this. And what have they got? Land fire damage, useless, utterly useless. This stage of the game, when no one knows anything about fire, I don't see what the point is. I don't think that should be a thing. For a gen that a general can get before fire becomes before cannons come about. Here we go. They'll take Jilim and Yehi again, and then he'll go back up and take Tuan. As a Haxi call. A six three four. Not bad. And again, we'll just wait it out. I ain't fighting that. Mm -mm, not me. Ah, oh, we should... Do we fight Yanzo? 1462. Yeah, I think we'll probably take Yanzo. We're two years though. We'll use caution. Allow you to take that and then you'll be on your way. It's fair enough. This is like us using rebels to keep coaching weak. Coaching, how are you doing for manpower? That's at least two stack wipes that I've seen. At this rate, he's not going to be in any frame of mind to be declaring wars on us. 
Right, he's off. So back our provinces. And back out. Now separatists will only flip between the provinces that are Haxi cores. So we're fine sitting here. They won't go out it's very rare that they go out of their way to squish an army, but let's let's pull back just a little bit just in case. As soon as as soon as that came out of my mouth I was like it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get messed up. Oh, looks like they took the celestial reform. And it dipped them under 50. Why would you take it? Why would you take it if you're not at 100? I don't know. But Ming, now would be the time where people would, uh, would go fight Ming. Alright, are you now a... Alright, so you are a tributary state of Ming. But you've got to keep Mongolia. And whilst you have a truce with Ming, 1473, we can't offer you an alliance for some bizarre, bizarre reason. Alright. 1473 will grab the uh, the alliance with Oriot. Oriot, Mongolia, smash. Coltrane look like they're in trouble with Burata. But you still would. You would still come in on a fight. Would Yuren come in to defend you though? They would. We'll keep an eye on that. I want to fight one or the other but not both. Who is this? Yanzo. Wow. You go Yanzo. Further near the party they all have the land that they need so I'm not going to give this to anyone you can you can both cry in a corner together influencing of nations yep yeah, yeah, they're angry but it's okay they'll get over it looks like they're coming to take out Julim and Yihi again does this uh, separatism stack separatism 17.5 I think it might actually it's unfortunate I ain't find this. Mm -mm. Nope. We can humiliate our rival. Let's have a look. Is there anyone that I can fight around me whilst everyone's at each other's throats? Can I sneak in anywhere? Chances are it's going to be Warren Yanzo. To take the remaining two provinces here. Okay. Rebels successful. Yep, I know. Well, I have two provinces. It's a long time thing. Cochin has three. Why are you not taking these three? Okay. And why did you just flip back? And now what military power? Okay. Have you Separatism plus seventeen. No, it looks like seventeen is the maximum that you can get to. I mean it's not good. Is this Yanzo here? Well done, Yanzo. I mean you're in the wrong place, but still. If you get taken out by Hakzai separatists, I will laugh. Oh dear. Oh, Yanza. Okay. Those two taken back. Yep, separatism maxes out at 17. Fair enough. Is this a core of Axai? Nope. You're not meant to be here. 
You're especially not meant to be on a siege. That's not a core. You're a Haxai Separatist. You're meant to be in a Haxai core. You're making me out to be a liar here. Okay. When, do our, when does our truce actually finish with you? February 62. In the meantime, will you still... Ooh, it's close. It's close. How many reasons? 22. Ooh. It's a lot of debt. War exhaustion. Occupied and besieged promises. The more that... Birata pokes into Korchin. Actually, no. When this falls to the rebels, that might be enough. So we just have to keep our faces clean. We just need to keep out of trouble. We need to keep building our manpower. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that will be us for this episode. It's all go. In this in this area of the world, it is all go. Um, there is always fights. Everyone's circling around the weakest ones. Everyone's desperate for land. Everyone's eating bits out of each other. And we just have to be there with... Uh, when, when shit goes down, we need to be there, ready to, to mop up. Um... Depending on the outcome of this war, with Yuren and Yenzo, hopefully they're still in that fight. It'll just be another string to the bow, if and when we declare. 22 reasons. What about with you? 29 reasons. In the back of my head, well, the back of my head is screaming, take out Yanzo first. Take out the little ones first, and then get on the back of a fight with one of the bigger ones, but Yaren has been in almost constant war. Korchin has had these rebels to deal with and they have had at least two wipes that I have seen to them. Yaren, yep, 15,000 manpower. Korchin, down to 8,000. A total of 9,000 troops. Korchin, Korchin is on his knees. As is Yeren, as is Yeren in terms of men in the field right now. But at least Yeren can spam troops if they need to. Although, did I see that Yeren were in debt? The reasons. What are the reasons? Yep, Yeren is 120 in debt, so that's why they can't make troops. Interesting. It might just come down to who blinks first. If I fight these, and Yaren don't want to come in, that's fine. If I fight Yaren and Cochin doesn't want to come in, that's fine. We isolate. We isolate them and then we weaken them. So they'll still be in alliance with each other, but they'll be considerably weaker. We're still waiting on... They will accept. Their truce must have expired. Nope. They still have a truce with me. For how long? 73. All right. So if we can make this fight, all this fight, last until the arse end of 73, then we can pick up this alliance before this resolves itself. Before these become untruce blocked. So that's probably going to be what we do. I still don't understand why the rebels are here. I don't know whether they were pathing through from here to here, got blocked by this fort and then just sat there. Might be a, a an explanation. They wouldn't have gone for this province. They wouldn't have specifically gone for this province because it's not Haxai Corps and it's Haxai Separatists. I can't see them, but I'm fairly certain. We, we saw them come from Yehi into Bodna, Boduna, and then instead of coming back through, they went to Sartu instead. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Hmm. All right, so 30 minute episode of this, sorry about that. I have waffled on as usual, far too long, 10 minutes longer than usual. 
Anyway, I've been looking Marine as always. You lot have been amazing. Um, thank you for for staying with me as I explained where we're going after this. But now you you have some idea of of what's going to go happen, what's going to go down, what's what my my thought process is. So until next time, do take care.